I find out if I'm going to be a father. Sister came over to help push the camera button just so I could be in the photo. A lot of times I'm not in the photo. I'm just taking the photo. So I was like, oh yeah, that's nice way to think of me. And a, and a moment like this, even though it's not Father's Day, it's Mother's Day or whatever, but I'll be in the photo. Get in the photo. Don't think nothing about it. And I got a little board in my room. It says, uh, do more. I figure this is where this will all end up. And I'm just kind of talking because I'm nervous. I am more nervous than I've ever been in my entire life. And that's it. We just got done finding out. Little baby's got a strong heartbeat. The baby's got a strong heartbeat. That's all we know. Six weeks, two days. Six weeks, two days. That's where we're at. Thank you to all so that's the that. For we worked our jobs. To help our organization. We went to the gym, worked out, ran together, and even got the chance to see some beautiful locations. to get our um, body anatomy scan of the baby. And we are actually at 20 weeks and five days instead of 19 weeks. And everything is fine with little baby and moving all around like crazy. Today we're at At First Sight Ultrasound Clinic in Florence and Christina will be finding out the gender of our baby. So that means I'm going to be waiting one whole week to find out what the sex of my baby is going to be. For the first time ever, I bring to you guys Maxton Wilder Johnson. We are going to be having a baby boy. Hey everybody. So uh, we're headed to the hospital and it is our what week? Oh, I don't know. We don't know what week it is. <laughs> we're like 70 something, maybe 72. <laughs> I don't know, but she's checking the app. She's got this app that tracks the whole baby progress all the way through. 29. 29th week. And so we're going into McLeod's and you know they're Nazis over here and they don't want cameras. So I can say that because this is my <laughs> my content right here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go in there. and Most likely we won't be able to videotape, but we're gonna bring it just in case. And then we'll keep you updated on how the baby is going down there. Yep. Peace out. And that's about the time things started to heat up. Christina started competing in challenges in her classes that she goes to, started volunteering more, even running 5Ks. But it never stopped. Back to back, going appointment after appointment, getting ready for our baby to make its debut. And who can have a baby without a perfect baby shower? And let me tell you, this thing was epic. Cake, sweets, you name it, it was there. Everybody came together to make the most perfect baby shower happen. Oh, they gave you the wrong shower. <laughs> Gain too much weight. Going into December, we still had a lot of fitness things going on. Christina was still teaching her class at that time, and we had the Wiggles to the Finish 5K charity event that we put on in Florence going on. When you believe Christine was still out there getting it. Little did we know that Maxton had other plans for us. Five weeks sooner than expected, Christina comes home from teaching a class and her water breaks. When we arrive at the hospital, we're thinking, oh, it's too early. Maybe they'll just send us back home it's not that big a deal. When we get to our room, our nurse informs us 
that we will not be leaving McLeod Hospital without a baby. Hey, hey there, Maxton. It's your dad coming to you from McLeod Hospital. And there's your mom. And there you are, down there, coming early. Your Aunt Kelsey has already made up the bassinet since we didn't have it done yet, but we are ready for you to be joining us. Now we gotta find you a first Christmas outfit because you wanted to come so early. We weren't ready. As you can guess, that's what she's doing on the phone right now. She's trying to find you Christmas outfits. She's supposed to be taking a nap. Anything else you want to tell Maxton before he starts? See, this is pre-contraction. Look at that. She's so happy. We'll make sure to document her post-contraction. It was about six in the morning when the contractions really started to come in. Christina was full, feeling the full effects of the baby. Sunrise came and went. We were still waiting on the doctor. Christina, by nine o'clock, was really feeling the baby, kicking her in the womb. When the doctor finally came in, he gave her the option to get the epidural. So once uh, Christina got administered the epidural, things got a little bit easier. She was able to check her social media again, take selfies, and we just relaxed until Maxton was ready to come on out of there. Where's the weight at? It'll be right here. 25.60, 5 pounds, 10 ounces. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After giving birth, Christina got moved to a new room as well as Maxton. He needed to be checked on to see if he was going to be admitted to the NICU. After a little while, they brought Maxton back so we could spend some time with him. He had just missed the cutoff, and Christina finally got a chance to eat some good food and relax. After having such a big morning already, Maxton took a nap underneath the heater, and at times Christina took naps next to Max. But even after all that, Christina still got work done that day. That first night with Maxon was very special. Although he was having a little bit of trouble keeping his glucose and temperature under control, we kept him underneath the heat lamp as well as on Christina's chest to give him that warm mother body heat that only she could give him. Say, hey mom, my glove's too big. <laughs> my glove's too big for my little bit of hands. Once they were sure that Maxton could maintain a proper body temperature, they showed us how to give Maxton his first bath. He wasn't too happy about it. Uh, 
Alright, you guys. We made it. Mason got snipped up over there. He got a little circumcision going on. We got a bags packed up and we got a car out there we're gonna be getting to. Baby mama doing good, Maxine doing good. I've heard the camera in a second. We're gonna get out of this fizzle. Big thank you to everybody that helped us. Help Maxine get along with the delivery procedure. If you guys ever end stumbled upon this video somewhere, we really appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you. My oh, baby mama. Ooh. Headed on down. There she goes. Excellent person. This thing cut off just so you know. That's okay.